What is up, YouTube? It is Friday, and it, we're approaching the long weekend. So for those of you in Canada, um, happy Thanksgiving. Um, hope you guys have a good long weekend. Um, I, for one, will be making steak, so I'll take pictures and show you guys on the next video. Um, if you're in the Discord, then you'll see it as well. Um, but I just want to say quickly before we start the video, thank you so much for the support on the streams. It's been going crazy, and uh, I love you guys, so thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, today we have a Guild War video against uh, Song of Stars, or... I don't remember. No. Song of Saya, I believe. Um, or Saya something. But, yeah, the previous Hall of Fame finishers, I don't think they're very serious. But, uh, nonetheless, we're going to try to keep it as clean as possible because I think our offenses have not been the greatest. I'm speaking for myself. So, I need to definitely clean some things up and work on a few builds. Um, and, yeah, let's try to be 3-0 today and have a little bit of MLM. So, let's go ahead. Oh, also, like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. Go down below. Let's go. Okay, so for the first attack, we're hitting, I don't know what the fuck this is. Um, basically, Senya, LRK, and Ilanav. And uh, our first unit we're going to be running is Destina. So I have her at 247 speed on Guardian Ice Crystals on the push EE. And we do have her on immunity. And the reason why we have her on immunity is because we don't want to get uh, provoked locked by the Senya. And Assyria, I've said it in many videos before, but if you ever run Shotgun DC, you do need to have immunity on Assyria as well. Now, the reason for this, obviously, is in case this is like a 280 Senya or 270 Senya that provoke locks you with like 200 effectiveness, you just instantly lose because you can't play the game. So, Assyria resetting the DC, uh, even if the Senya cuts in between my Assyria and the Destina, my Destina has immunity so that we're not ER checking since we all know like ER checking is kind of rough. Um, and yeah, we just push the DC and we just one shot. Um, and yeah, basically we're on protection sets. Uh, nothing too crazy here. Um, haven't really changed that whatsoever. Um, but the bottom team is going to be Navy Captain Landy, Mort, and Unbound Knight Arrowell. So, we're running Rose. I did say in the previous clip we're going to try to run some MLM. And however, I do want to say this is not MLM, okay? If you have Tywin, you should run Tywin. But I don't, so we're going to run Blue Rose. Uh, Blue Rose is going to be on Aureus and just have her on whatever EE. Um, I have her on the S3 skill cooldown EE, but I don't really think it's going to matter. Um, and then I have Doors on Doctor's Bag because you guys know S3 is only going to cleanse one debuff. And S2 doesn't cleanse at all. So in case we do get Death Broken on, on a counter or an Elbrus or something like that, um, I do want to be able to cleanse my ML can at all times. So Blue Rose can cleanse with S2. Doris can cleanse with S3 and S2 on Doctor's Bag. So it's all good. And then uh, ML can is going to be on Sigrid Scythe, Destro Penset. Um, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. We're just going to fuck them up. I don't really see how you can lose on this one. If we do lose... This next clip you will see of me is buying an elemental pack. And I hope I don't have to buy that, by the way. Anyways, let us go right ahead. Alright, so we get the speed screenshot. Everyone's pretty slow, so we're just going to reset the DC here. And I don't want to s3 into the senya because if i s3 the senya I'm, i might miss crit right obviously so i'm going to trigger s2 and we don't know how much hp she has we don't want to give her any chance whatsoever so i'm just going to dump an s3 onto the lrk here um just because if we miss an Ilanav, it's like s3 is basically wasted so we might as well just try to land something and if we land on lrk that's great uh, unbuffable is not exactly the most useful but it's not bad. Now, the problem here is actually my DC is actually pretty far behind. And we're going to push 50 CR. Um, so LRK might like take a turn or something. But I think we should be fine. Yeah. Oh, no. No. False alarm. False alarm. Okay. So we're just going to S3 into the Senya. We can see that the LRK is on Aureus. So in our report, we're not going to be including Senya HP because we just don't really know what she's at. But we know she's not on Proof of Valor. We know she's not on Holy Sack. So that's already good enough for me. Uh, LRK is going to be 27.7k HP, S3 into my team. Ilanav is going to be 20.7k. Now the danger here is actually uh, my Iseria may die, right? Uh, since Iseria is like so fast, she might just get one tapped by the Ilanav, which obviously she does. Um, so at this stage in the game, um, I 
I'm just, hold on, I'm just thinking. Because, so if I S1, one turn, one turn, next turn, I can soul burn S3 to kill this. If I S3 here, bring back the Iceria, she's just going to get one tapped again, and I lose her for nothing. If he S1s into my Destina, I'm still going to be able to tank since I'm 14k and I have Guardian Ice Crystals. I don't think she's on counter because she's pretty quick. But there's always the possibility. And we don't know if she's on Elbrus. So counter is 30%. Elbrus is also, I guess, pretty high if it's plus 30. But I'm going to take my chances on just s one the LRK here. Just because I don't really want to get countered by the Illinav. Okay. If you wish to so I'm going to try to provoke this. Okay, beautiful. So in this spot now, I can actually, I think, S2 push my DC down. So I'm going to S2 push my DC down so that I can soul burn S3 since my DC is going to take a turn before the Illinav. And then I can S3 to safely bring back my Assyria for a future attack and we're all good to go. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay. Awesome. And, okay, so it is uh, Holy Sack. So now we're going to bring back the Iceria. Now, we have to be careful because we could potentially lose her off an LRK S3 rip. So I kind of want to look at the turns. So he's like, what, two turns off? Or one turn more? He's death broken. I mean, my Iceria has like no effectiveness. So if I'm landing these, um, if I'm landing these, it's actually kind of good. So if I S1 into him, I'm going to get fucking popped. So... I think I S2 myself. S2 myself for the cycling, and the goal is to try to bring back the Assyria on a turn where DC has S3. I mean, if DC if DC can uh, provoke, I mean, I will take that any day of the week, but it's pretty unlikely that I'm going to be able to provoke onto this guy. Yeah, so my Assyria is going to die a second time, which in the grand scheme of things kind of sucks, but uh, if we can bring her back at some point, then that's fine. As long as we don't press S3 on the DC before Assyria is back, it's all good. So one more turn, we can bring the Assyria back, and we're just one turn off of DC S3. Yeah, so one turn off. Yeah, okay, we're good. Uh, so on the next turn, we're good to go. So I'm going to press S3 here. And because my Assyria is on such a fast build, uh, I should be able to lap the LRK unless speed buff really brings him ahead. Um... Yeah, one turn off, so we we're should be fine. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, basically, we're just going to push the DC up, and we're going to Soul Burn S3, and we're good to go. Unfortunately, that took a little bit longer than I wanted, but it was pretty safe, so, I mean, I guess I can't really complain. All right, let's see. Now for S3, so Mort is going first, and he's 24.3k HP. Uh, we're going to need to take the speed screenshot because we need to find out how fast he is. Pretty good damage. So he's 8% ahead of 205, so he should be around like what, maybe like 220 max. So in this spot, um, I'm just going to S3 to give myself attack buff on the Emelken. Now, I don't really want to S2 here, kind of, because if I S2, I could just get stripped by the arrow well, which seems a bit counterintuitive, I think. So instead of doing that, I think... Um, hold on, he stuns me, I miss a turn, she S1s into me, I can't counter because I'm stunned. Rose goes next to S2, Mort goes S S1 goes into Rose. Doris is going to take a turn afterwards, which means if I push myself here, I should be able to cut in between the this turn order right here, which means Emma Landy S1 into me, I won't be stunned anymore since I get 50% CR. Okay, yeah. So the so I think we're going to just S3 on the Doris here. Never give up. Don't ever yeah. ignore the okay. power. So I think this all worked out. This all worked. It, this worked out well. I mean, ideally, in a perfect world, we resist that. But I mean, like, it's pretty unlikely, right? So now I'm gonna S2 for healing and defense buff, and I'm gonna hold S1 
on the rose, I think. But if I S1, I may potentially trigger a counterattack. But if I S2, that means I lose a cleanse. But what do I really need to cleanse now? Because the more S1 is going to go into me, and I'm not really in range to counter. I think I think maybe I just S2 here. Just to get barrier. More S1s into me. Casalvo. I mean, this, this line might just be dead right here. But I don't really want S1 into her. And then she S1s into Salvo. And then another S1. And then she's like one turn off. Okay. Let's just S2 onto our MLK here. So, oop. There's the counter. We didn't crit though. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> ML90 S1s into the ML Ken. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's a pretty tanky uh, Landy, actually. Wow. 20k HP Landy. Which means she's probably not going to have super high damage then. Get another counter. That's nice. Ooh, that arrow is pretty paper. Ooh, my god. We got death broken. That is not good. S1 into the Landy to blind. Miss. S1 into the arrow well. He missed. That's not really good. Um, I think we're just going to drop S3 here. Elbrus and counter. We're fine. Holy sack. Wait. We're fine, right? Oh my God! He's double Elbrus. Wait. Oh my god! I can finally stand on my own. Holy shit, dude. Dude, my heart rate is like... Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay. Woo! Holy fuck. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, for the second attack, we are going to be um, hitting Silius, Mort, and Emilandi. So, unfortunately, I know it's going to be another Dark Corvus. Um, he's just the best unit to use in Guild War at the moment with some of these defenses. So, DC, you guys already saw. Uh, Destina, same build. Uh, we have her at 247, and I series on the Unseen Observer with immunity as well. For the round two, uh, it's going to be Rand, Mercedes, and Senya. So, we're going to be going with Mediator Kawarik on Proof of Valor and 163 ER. And I'll explain the comp after. Uh, Rowana's going to be on Celestine on immunity as well. And we're going to be running Inferno Kawazu on Sepulchrum. And you want to make sure you have immunity EE. Now, the, how this comp works is basically Rand's going to S2, S3. Inferno's going to heal off S2, and Rowana has elemental disadvantage. So if, if he does RNL, it's going to go into the hand guy, which is why hand guy needs to have proof of valor to tank. And you want to have about 150 ER, because if that Rand has just like some base substat effectiveness, then there's a chance that he might death break if you're like zero, right? Obviously, if you're 100, it's not enough. So we have 150 just in case. If it is a Rand RNL, you can't really have a real Rand that can also debuff 150 ER. So that's why we have have that build set at that range and then um <clears throat> obviously with the immunity e on the inferno is really important because if it's ran into senya and provoke lock um we, we need to make sure that we do have the immunity but hand guy will cleanse but there's a chance that maybe like the tuning's a bit weird maybe they have a fast maru fast senya then things can get a little bit awkward um but for the most part it should be fine we just cleanse get attack buff and then we just kill the ran and then we just put ron revive up and then we just play the fight out uh 2v3 and it's basically free at that point 
and yeah so it should be pretty clean so let us go right ahead all right so we see the conquer lilies is going to be 16.8k hp on circus fantasia and the healing or the barrier is going to go on to the mort which tells us he's the highest hp so we're going to get the speed cr here and we're going to just uh, reset onto the dark corvus now i'm going to s3 on I guess it doesn't really matter who I S3. Uh, I'm probably just going to S3 onto the Emolandi here. And uh, my Dark Corvus is going to want to one-shot the Landy because realistically she's the only danger um, on the right side coming in here. Like Even if the Silius is pulling the Mort over and over into the Dark Corvus, eventually we're going to be able to S3. And we see that the Mort is 21.2k HP. So we're fine as of right now. We're going to Soulburn S3 into the Emolandi. We're not going to know her HP threshold, but uh, always S3 just to make sure that she dies. So that's dead. Uh, more S1, or I mean Silius S1 into D-Break. Well, that's fine. And again, we see that there's uh, two little arrows here um, on the Mort. So we know that he's on the S2 EE, so it's important to uh, include that in the report. And we're just gonna S1 onto the Conquer Lilius. I'm gonna S3 just to remove the defense break and just S3 the, the whole team. Or I mean heal up the whole team, I should say. So that goes into the Syria, which is not ideal. But uh, we have a Dark Corvus S3 again already. And we just need to get a turn off here. Uh, just S1 onto the Conquer Lilius. And then we're gonna don't really need to push so i'm just gonna push the uh, iceria since i sh i think we should cut oh my fucking god i'm trolling i'm trolling <laughs> provoke oh my god i'm trolling all right well i guess i'm roping you guys um uh, keeping you guys a bit longer than uh than uh <laughs> i was expecting to whoops uh, this is not looking too hot, isn't it? He gets Vigor, and then he's gonna S1 into the DC. I'm scared, because my Destina is fucking death broken. Like, what the fuck? But, um... He has Provoke Lock right now, so it's not really the end of the world, I guess. But I definitely need to cleanse on Destina's turn ASAP. Or I just one shot the uh, the the Mort actually. Okay, uh, we're gonna push the Mort in front of, or sorry, push the DC in front of the Mort, and just one shot him. Like I totally roped you guys for no reason. All right, S three, and he should be dead. And, yep, he's dead. Perfect. Oof. I was a bit worried there for a second. Definitely made a misplay, but um, you know, well, what 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 kind of video would this be without you know some clown activities, right? And uh, she's going to run into the DC. DC is going to take a turn here, and we're just going to dump Solar S three, and we're good to go. Unfortunately, there's a lot of Dark Corvus because, like, Pillis, Charlotte Cops are just not safe. So, sometimes we just have to resort to using DC, um, because the enemy guild only has 28 members, so we basically can't afford to lose at all. So, we gotta make sure everything's super clean. And I'm not gonna be the one to lose, okay? Uh, Rand's 8.5k HP, probably on RNL. This is probably a real Rand. Just look at the, take a look at the damage. We swore to Summer Twilight, so there's no RNL, which I guess is good for me. So, I'm just going to S3 into the ran here. Oh, I didn't take the CR bar. Whoops. CR bar, CR bar, CR bar. Okay, here's a CR bar. Okay. Uh, they both have immunity, so Sanya can't provoke lock me here. If I S2 to attack down this unit to get... Because, like, the last thing I want is for her to get attack buff... Right? If I give her attack buff, Senya's gonna go into S3 into here. Rowana's gonna S3, Inferno S1, magic for friends. Boom, I die. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna S2. 
I fucking got resisted. GG's. Okay, 9.5k HP on the Meru. Senya's gonna go S3, 19.6k HP. I'm kind of expecting it to be like lifesteal. Um, but let's find out what EE she's on. Yeah, so you can see that it's Gabby E, but again, you can see that EE is with these little arrows here. So she's on S3 EE. And uh, we're just gonna S3 on Rowana here. Need to get a bit of healing going. Now every turn afterwards, um, we're basically fine. Inferno's gonna S1 into the more uh, sorry Mercedes here. No magic for friends, but this is gonna heal us up and push us up. Also triggers the Inferno S2, which is good. Okay, that's all good. We're gonna S1. A Spear of a New Dawn confirmed. S1 into the Mercedes. Magic for friends, there it is. We get healed up to full and pushed up. Okay. I'm um, just gonna S1 here. Kills the first life, and then we're going to S2. And then just keep focusing the Meru here. Because eventually we just want to let the Inferno get an S3 off. Um, we do have Vigor right now, so... Why not? Boom. Yeah, I don't think he dies here, even with the Inferno buffs. Probably not dead. Uh, yep, yeah, definitely not dead. Uh, just S1 into the Mercedes. This will trigger the Inferno, which is good. Okay. Um, I can actually Soul Burn here. Probably just S1 to kill the, the Senya, to be honest. But we should take care of the Meru since that's the winning play. And now we just S1. I'm just gonna push. One more attack just kills her. Oh my god, she's still here. Okay. 19.6. We get our S2 triggered, and then we just S1 just to finish it off. We don't need S3. Save time. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. Okay. Moving over into the third round today. Okay, so for the third attack of today, I am very stressed because this team is, I don't know, it's fucked. So basically, it's Ran, Meru, and Emolandi. So I'm running Christy, 286 ER on Aureus for the damage transfer. I'm going to run a Lifesteal Ken with Penset on Proof of Valor. And I have Roana here on Celestine on Immunity. So the idea is Ran's going to S2, S3 to slow Ran about 210 speed on RNL. So if Ran's going to S2, S3, I get Death Broken, Emma can S1 counters into the Ran, procs magic for friends, hits me while I'm Death Broken, and it's a 5k 350 crit damage torrent set Meru, and then the Ran RNL S1s. I'm dead. Um, but that's a lot of checks to go through, and I don't know if a if a DPS ran at 210 speed will have enough effectiveness to land on the Amoken. But that's always a possibility. So I'm scared. Uh, but after turn one, I live. So if we if that specific scenario doesn't happen, we're okay. If it does happen, it's Jover. Um Bottom team, uh, the knock wall is about 285, so I'm going to run a 299 Amid. And I'm going to run a 211 Watcher to S3 with attack buff to one shot the Karina. Damage calculation shown here. And then Zahawk is going to be on 100 crit because you will need 100 crit chance to successfully land on the Senya. And I have damage calculated based on a 1700 defense Senya, which I think is pretty overcapped. But I'm going to put the damage calculation on screen now. And basically, aim at S2, S3 pushes Watcher. Watcher one-shots Karina. That's going to Sashay push up the Zahawk in front of the knock wall. S2, S3 into the Senya. And then it's 3v1 and it should be fine. But I'm really scared for the first team. I might be overthinking it, but I'm really scared. So I really hope it doesn't happen. So let's find out. Alright. 
Rand's gonna go S2, 9.1k HP as we saw already in the report. We S3. RNL hasn't proc yet, but could still proc on the next turn. Does the RNL? He didn't death break. We win, I think. Oh, wait. Rand's dead. It's Injury Meru? I mean, it's Injury Landy? Wait. Um, guys, it's Injury Landy and it wasn't included in the report. Um... I am going to be very upset if I lose like this. We're fine. I'm just overthinking it. We're fine, right? Um, okay, the first life of Mary's gone. S1's going to die. Okay. Okay. We're gonna S1 here. Mary's gonna S2. We're gonna kill. Okay, we're fine. Okay, round one seems to be okay. God damn, okay. Um, 94%, 6% behind. Okay, so we're gonna S2. We're gonna S3 and push the Watcher up. And this is going to kill the Karina. I won't miss. Please. Okay. 36k. We pushed as a hawk. I mean, we pushed the Watcher. We S3 into the Senya. I'm pretty sure he's not 1700 defense. Okay, yeah. Alright. Woo! All right, definitely an overthink for sure, probably on the first team. But I think it's kind of one of those things where I'd rather be safe than sorry. And honestly, hey, this Guild War battle is about to be over. So we might as fucking well. I'm looking a bit small today. I'm not going to lie, but we haven't worked out yet today. So hopefully this looks okay. And um, yeah, so that is it. Nice. Alrighty, so that's going to do it for today's Guild War video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Now, if you guys do have any questions or feedback or anything, let me know in the comments or you can join the Discord that's in the description. I would really appreciate it as you'll be notified when new videos are posted and when I go live on stream. I can't believe I streamed twice this week. Anyways, um, I hope everyone has a good long weekend. That's in Canada. Um, and yeah. Until then, um, I'll see you guys on uh, next week, next video, next stream. Yeah. I was going to say bye, but like, maybe this is just going to be better. <laughs> All right, bye.